Hello everyone, this is Virendra Singh from ToolsQA.com. I welcome you to our new tutorial on weight commands in Selenium. Uh, this is a very important tutorial because you would require weight commands uh, in your projects quite often. So I hope you get the maximum out of it today. What are we learning today? So we are trying to learn about about what is weight in selenium and how it is implemented we also will try to understand the need of weights and uh, what are the different types of weights uh, while explaining to you the different types of weights i will give you a code walkthrough uh, the the language of choice today is java and uh, the prerequisites for this tutorial uh, are you must have gone through our basic tutorials on selenium you should be able to write some basic tests using Selenium in the language of your choice. Well, I would like to detail out uh, the topics that we will cover today. So, uh, we will be talking about uh, timeouts available in two different namespaces uh, under Selenium. The first one is webdriver.timeouts, the second one is org.openqa.selenium.support.ui. So, the, there are two timeouts. Two two namespaces in which we have timeouts and each one uh, each namespace provides different category of uh, timeouts so let us uh, let us get into the details of it so let me first explain to you what happens when your page loads let us take a hypothetical example uh, in which uh, you you have written a test uh, the first step of the test is to navigate to a page let's say yahoo.com or let's say toolsqa.com right and then you want to perform some action perform action let's say you want to click on a button click button not bottom it's button so uh, during these two steps let me put it this way this is step one and this is step two so you use a web driver let's say you are using a, a, a Firefox web driver right so you tell your web driver that I want to navigate to a page and you give the URL to it the page is toolsqa.com and you give the URL to it so the web driver navigates to the page and once it finds that the page has loaded it jumps to execute it comes out of this uh, code and it jumps to the next uh, line of code which is uh, which is the click action click action on some particular element right so uh, during this phase during the transition from here to here you may find that uh, the element of uh, the element that you are looking for on the page has not has not appeared on the page so that is when you require a weight so you require a weight because the element that you are trying to look at is not present on the web page and you want to wait for some time so that it appears on the page web page and you can perform the action now you can do it in many different ways you can use uh, uh, different types of weights and all weights give you some or other type of functionality now there is very important piece here so whenever whenever web driver tries to find an element it what it does it, it tries to look for the element uh, on the page and by default by default uh, you have to remember this part by default it finds the element only once and it uh, it doesn't wait for the element so uh, the timeout is zero seconds so once the page load has complete once uh, the web driver goes to look for an element it will not wait for any number of seconds it will just try to look for the that element if the element is not found it will raise an exception but with the weight we can configure that so um, so let us now with this understanding let us now uh, see how it is implemented in 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 the code 
so I have created a simple Java program this program uh, has all the associated binaries uh, the Java files and uh, it's a very simple program so all it does it, it just creates a driver a Firefox driver and then let's talk about the very first uh, first timeout which is the implicit timeout which is available in the web drivers dot timeouts namespace so implicit timeout so to, to put an implicit timeout uh, we have to do uh, we have to write this piece of line it says driver dot manage it gets the manage class and in the manage class there are there is timeouts and in timeouts we have an implicit weight implicit weight has a signature let me let me write it down it will give you the signature also so what I do is I do a timeout and I say implicit weight now you can see that there is a, this is the signature of implicit weight it says a long a value which is long and the time unit so this long is how many seconds or milliseconds you want to wait let's say I want to wait for uh, five seconds let's say I want to wait for five seconds so in the time out time unit I will say that the value the long value that I have mentioned is in seconds there you go so what have I done while doing this what is it that has that we have accomplished so what we have done is that with the driver with the driver class let me let me just create a new page and let me change the color of ink so we, whenever you instantiate a driver there are two items associated with it there is uh, a delay time and the timeout so by default it is set to 0 seconds and 250 milliseconds milliseconds right so what does it mean so whenever you created a driver instance uh, whenever using that driver instance you say get element find element find element and you give the locator whatever locator you want to give whenever you do this it tries to find the element with a timeout of 0 seconds so if this means that if it doesn't find the element it quits and it doesn't retry it with this driver you do find element locator it finds it it tries to find element with a timeout of 0 seconds and a delay time of 250 milliseconds now with this piece of code what you have done is you have implicitly set the timeout to 5 seconds now what it will do is that it will wait for instead of uh, 0 seconds it will wait for 5 seconds so what will happen is that once the page load, loads on your browser let's say it's a toolsqa.com page once the page loads it tries to find the element find element if it doesn't find it so what uh, if it doesn't find it it waits for 250 milliseconds and it then again goes to find the element and it keeps on repeating this loop till this timeout has appeared timeout has happened so what it is doing is that it it is trying to find an element after every 250 milliseconds till 5 seconds has reached so if within these 5 seconds it's not able to find the element it raises an exception and that exception is called the web element not found exception element not found so this is how uh, a typical web driver works now with this implicit weight we have just set uh, the timeout to 5 seconds so we can we can be sure that within these 5 seconds uh, if if uh, within these five seconds if the element appears on the page then we won't get any exception so let me uh, let me take you to a web page 
I have locally hosted it but these pages are available on our uh, on our website I will give you the links uh, below the tutorial so we have uh, so what what we are doing is that we are creating an instance of Firefox we are telling it to uh, do a timeout uh, implicit wait of 5 milliseconds now we will try to find an element on the web page and I would like to find an element by ID let me just first check uh, what this element is so this is the element let me inspect it and let me see mm, any unique identifier of this element uh, yeah uh, the identifier is target so I will say that I want to find an element uh, by an ID target so as you can see uh, I have created a small test page in this page what is happening is that once you uh, click on the URL once you open the URL an element appears after five seconds so this is the element so if within those five seconds I try to access this element I won't be able to find it now let me try it so let me first try it, try it out with uh, a timeout which is less than five seconds so that it throws an exception so the part which I explained to you in the drawing it's very important because uh, this is where someone may ask you like how how uh, web drivers implement the timeout how what are the actual details of these timeout so you can you can refer to this one and you can explain like how it works so I have run my test and uh, it should open well I haven't run it yeah it should open a uh, web browser uh, we are using Firefox in this case look so yeah so the, the element hasn't come come up within the two seconds limit that we have set so as you can see that within these two seconds element didn't appear on the screen and we got a element not found exception let me see unable to locate the element and uh, the exception is no such element exception element not found it's it's actually no such element exception so there we are now we can run the same test and this time we can say that we have a explicit timeout or implicit timeout of five seconds six seconds so once we have this implicit timeout web driver will wait will try to find the element for six seconds at least in order six seconds at least and if it finds an element within the six second it will return so let's see uh, let's see how this works it shouldn't throw any exception this time the the beauty of this implicit wait is that we don't necessarily have to wait for six seconds it's from zero seconds to the time till the time we find the element if we find the element early then we will come out early so as you can see the el the link text element has appeared and we didn't get any exception so uh, this time it waited for at least six seconds before throwing an exception and as we can see within six seconds we have our uh, element appear uh, on the browser so this is how implicit weights work now this implicit wait is attached to the driver instance till the lifetime of the driver so once you get rid of this driver uh, this time this implicit timeout will go away with it now let's talk about another timeout which is the script timeout so driver dot manage dot timeouts dot script timeout script Time out. Let me just type it right. Dot. Uh, where is it? Set script timeout. So this is it. It says uh, it's uh, it again asks for the same arguments, which is time unit dot seconds. So this script I don't have any example right now for the set script timeout but this is used when you run uh, a sync when you execute JavaScript 
uh, when you execute a async JavaScript uh, execute it's where is that execute async script so whenever you do this what it does is that based on the timeout value set here it will wait for those many seconds before throwing an exception so this is again a very useful uh, script time uh, very useful timeout after that we will go to the page load timeout now page load timeout is actually driver dot manage dot timeouts dot page load timeout again the signature of the method is same it accepts uh, a long value plus the time unit time unit uh, in our case is seconds seconds so what does it do page load timeout page load timeout actually uh, gives you the timeout value within which the page should load so let me explain it to you uh, with a little drawing so what happens is that whenever you create a driver instance uh, it has a default default page load timeout so what happens is that whenever you issue a navigate command it waits for it waits for the default page load timeout seconds before saying that page was not loaded correctly so if we have a very uh, uh, we we are load, trying to load a website which is which has a very less bandwidth uh, available the server has, server has a very low bandwidth available and it takes quite a lot of time to load the website that is when you can use this page load timeout and increase increase the value of timeout this way you can make sure that even the slower loading pages load properly and you don't get any exception so let me give you an example of it let's say I set this default timeout to 0 milliseconds so once I do this even loading a, a simple page should throw an exception because the page load timeout is 0 seconds let us see what happens this is uh, this is a very important timeout and you should use it judicially setting up a very large value for this timeout may uh, may not be beneficial for your tests as you can see that I have set uh, a page timeout of 0 seconds and as a result I got an exception right uh, right when I right after uh, the get command the navigate command it says timeout timed out waiting for page to load so as the timeout for was for zero seconds it never waited for the page to load it just came out of uh, the get command and it, and it threw an exception so um, this is how a page timeout works now what is common between these three timeouts so the common thing about these three timeouts is that these are a property of the driver the web driver so this is one of the variables inside the web driver class so this these values remain intact during the lifetime of the driver so once you have set them you may change them using the same command again but they will remain with the driver so it's not a per instance basis per per uh, per statement execution basis it's a per instance basis till the time you have a driver instance these timeouts will continue so this is pretty much it about uh, the web driver timeouts let's